Greetings, Martins. I'm your news anchor, Shreyas, and this is my co-anchor, Damien. Before I forget, semester one has ended. Hope you all did well on your finals. Now let's get on with the show. We got a new segment about what's happening in the world today. I'm Nevaeh Valbuena, and this is the January 2021 news. President Joe Biden and aides are showing touches of prickliness and growing scrutiny over his reliance on executive orders in his first days in office. The EU has the potential to block millions of COVID vaccine doses from entering the UK, where the EU Commission acquired a new mechanism that grants them the power to refuse exports. The Center of Disease Control breaks down the numbers to show that about 2.5% of West Virginia's 1.7 million residents have already been fully vaccinated. The struggling video game retailer stock has been making stupefying moves this month wild enough to raise concerns from professional investors on Wall Street to the hallways of regulars and the White House in Washington. This was the January 2021 news. Well, I'm not caught up. How about you, Damien? I sure am. Well, here's some news about events that happened very recently. This is around Washington in 30 seconds for the week of February 1st, 2021. King County has entered phase two of Washington's reopening plan after Governor Jay Inslee announced changes to the metrics used to determine what phase a county is in. The Issaquah School District and the Issaquah Education Association have come to a tentative agreement on returning grades K through three to hybrid learning. More details to come soon. Kinko has announced that sports seasons are coming back with fall sports starting on March 1st and wintering spring sports coming in the months after. This has been Around Washington in 30 Seconds. Back to you, Shreyas and Damian. Okay then, a lot of stuff has happened in just a few weeks. Now we have a skit for you about sports, but with a small twist. Can't believe that Tom Brady's back in the Super Bowl again. This was supposed to be the Bears year. for the Chiefs anyways. Yeah, I, I was cheering for the Chiefs the whole time. Touchdown Buccaneers, let's go! I knew Tom Brady would pull it out, let's go. Honestly, that's how it should have would have gone if uh, sports were still going on. Well made and creative. That was a sports good for you. Next up, we have an interview hosted by Daniel and Ben with special guest, Mr. Doran. My name is uh, Mr. Doran. I teach ninth grade on level and honors English. And I believe this is my fourth year at Skyline. Do you think it's been harder to teach remote? And if so, why? Oh, yeah, I would I would definitely say it's been hard to teach for remote. Um, you know, just speaking personally, um, I really enjoy the human interaction um, of being in learn in person learning in the classroom. Um, I really, truly do miss seeing my students. Our next question is, how has your typical school day changed from like past years in your perspective? Um, you know, I, so I usually get to, to work pretty early, um, about an hour before class starts, which gave me time to talk to um, my partner teachers, um, other teachers in my department, um, you know, just kind of catch up with people, hear what they're doing. Do you have any helpful tips for students to better their remote learning experience? Truly to the student who maybe is hearing this and has heard it before, but maybe this time will, will really resonate with them. If you've got a question, if you've got something you need help, reach out to that teacher with a Canvas message. Say, I need help with this. So mm-hmm. thank you, Mr. Doran. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Interesting. I always wondered what the teacher's perspective on online learning was. Well, now I know how Mr. Doran sees online learning. Yeah. Well, Valentine's Day is in February. Guess what month we're in, Damien? Uh, January? Are you serious? Uh, Well, I guess time is passing much slower than it did before. 
Anyway, we have a skit for you about Valentine's Day. Oh! Hey! Hi! My name's Aiden. I'm gonna take you on a date. Hi Aiden, I'm Brooke. I'm excited for our date. So, what do you like to get from Dairy Queen? Uh, chicken fingers. Oh. So, you like Rose College? Um, no, it's actually my my dead aunt's sweatshirt. Oh, huh. that's that's kind of cool, I guess. Mhm. Mm what? You want a bite? Oh yeah, I'm not hungry. Um, actually, can I have a, can I have a cheese curd? Just one. Oh, that's that that's fine. Thanks. Why why are you rolling down the window? What? No no no. No, no reason. That was the Valentine's Day skit for you. We have amazing members of SPTV, don't we? Yes, of course we do. Anyway, we got another skit about gym stereotypes. Roll the video. Well, that wraps up SVTV for this week. All the segments were enjoyable as always. Damien, anything to add? Uh, nothing much, but remember to stay tuned for next episode. See you all in the next episode. Thank you.